Through Karachi streets drives the KD Azam, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, Pakistan's first governor general. It's Karachi's first day of independence, and the crowds are out to greet him and Earl Mountbatten. On his last day as viceroy, he is here to inaugurate the transfer of power. To the members of Pakistan's first constituent assembly, Lord Louis reads a message from the king proclaiming the new dominion. Britain and Pakistan part as friends, he said, both members of the British Commonwealth of Nations. <laughs> 600 miles away in Delhi, Independence Day was also a day of rejoicing. Tumultuous crowds filled the streets, celebrating, singing and laughing. Police were called out many times to restore order, where everyone ran wild with joy. Outside the Constituent Assembly, crowds again broke through the police cordon. From the balcony of the building, Pandit Nehru, India's first Premier, urges the crowd to let the procession move through. Earl Mountbatten's car was surrounded by thousands of wildly cheering people. In the afternoon, the Mountbatten's, with their daughter Pamela, took part in the festivities. Only six months ago, ex siac chief Lord Louis was appointed viceroy. Today, we recognize that the friendly understanding manner which made him so popular a service commander helps him to face yet another task, to be the first governor general of the new Indian Dominion.